we've got a new track coming out today and so i thought it'd be fun to jump into phil studio and just run through this track with you guys talk about how i created this song and built this project i'll drop a link in the bio if anybody wants to go and listen to the track now and then come back and watch the video or you can watch the video and then listen to the track afterwards so let's jump into phil studio and get to it Right, so this is the FL Studio project. It's not a huge project, but it is fairly complex with lots of different layers. I really wanted to do that and kind of played around with some new stuff in this track. As always, I started here with a piano, but I actually didn't start with piano chords initially. I started with this piano arp. From there, I kind of found some chords that sounded really lovely when paired with that kind of walking piano arp. And that pretty much repeats throughout the whole track. We obviously start with just the arp, then get everything, and then there's a section there we don't have the arp, we just have the chords playing. I was going for something pretty ambient, pretty sleepy here. Once I had those, it was just a case of building out the structure. So I added, so I added a drone sound. And then I added this kind of weird ambient piano sound as kind of the first counter melody for the track. And that kind of plays through in different parts of the track. It doesn't play continuously. It kind of comes and goes as the track moves on. When I built this track, I really thought about like, how do I want the intro to sound? And then how do I want it to move as the track builds? So let's break it down in that way. So we'll start with the intro here. So we're starting with our drone pianos. And then there is this guitar sound that I brought in for the intro. just a really simple guitar pluck. And that is actually what introduces us into the song. Let's take a listen to how that guitar sounds and then as the pianos kind of build the track. there I actually added this weird kind of guitar synth. What it actually is is just me playing a really simple guitar arp in a higher octave and then I processed it with delay, reverb, chorus, compressed it and then I flattened that sound so that you get this kind of weird guitar synth. And then I used that to build into what would be the next section of the track. And the final thing that I added to the intro here is what I've called a weird synthetic guitar. This is the Flex Chill guitar and I've processed it with an EQ, some Valhalla Supermassive, and then another EQ, really squishing that sound so that you get this sound here. So it's got kind of a weird reversed choral kind of effect to it. Just building that intro out. And there is another guitar part here, but we'll come back to that later because I didn't add that initially in the intro. So this is how our intro sounds.
and then at that point you move into the next section of the track. Now for this next section of the track it was going to be a hook or a main section so I added a bass just following the root notes of the chords and then I started building out some drums so I just did these really simple drums with just a kick, two snares and a hi-hat. And you probably be able to hear it as well, but it's really just missing a driving top line melody. But before we get to that, we'll just talk about the snares here. So I've got two snares that are playing at pretty much the same time. But on this second snare, I've done these kind of rolling snares. And not only do they sort of echo in the headphones, they also bounce from left to right at the same time, which is just a really nice kind of sleepy effect that you can add there. So now talking about the guitar top line, I actually wrote two different top lines for this track. The first one you'll hear here, the second one I'll show you in a minute. So this is the first guitar top line that I wrote as kind of the central focus point for the track. After four bars of that, we just introduce another guitar. This is just a high arp. This might have been what I processed into the synth. I'm not 100% sure. And that's just filling out some of the register and also filling out some of the left hand headphone because we've got the other arp playing in the right headphone. And so that's pretty much it for the main structure of the song. We've got a few extra transition sounds and yeah that's pretty much it. We then go into a short 8 bar bridge and then back into a 8 bar outro final. Now when I was writing the bridge I wrote this second guitar line and it's a guitar line that I really fell in love with and decided to do a bit more with but this is how it sounds at the moment. And that guitar is live guitar that's recorded but it's got a radio frequency EQ on it and that just gives it that really kind of nice warm flattened sound and so when I wrote that I then brought that back so it plays in the intro it plays in that main hook you kind of get this like sneak peek into the end of the song so you hear it here in the intro and it's really kind of tucked away in there with a full amount of that radio frequency happening. You then hear it again in the end of that hook. Again, just really tucked away in the background there. And then you'll notice for the bridge here, what I've got is that radio frequency EQ is on about a halfway send so it's not in full effect so it's a little bit more pronounced this time and then from there we take the radio frequency off entirely and it plays as the main melody for the outro of the track And the very final part that I added to this track was this background guitar arp that just plays a really simple. And that is drowned in reverb. So it just adds this background ambient reverb kind of finale feeling to it. So I'll just play you that bridge into the outro and then I'll let that play out for you.
And that is that, that is my new track. As I say, the track is out today. It's called Evermore, and I'm releasing this with my friends over at Soft Tones Music. I'll drop a link if you wanna go and listen to the whole track now. It'd be greatly appreciated. Every listen helps out independent artists like myself. Before you go, if you enjoy watching videos like this and you wanna see more lo-fi breakdowns, production tutorials, and all things FL Studio, do give the channel a subscribe. Every subscribe helps me to continue making content just like this. I think that's everything from me. Peace out.